Hey everybody, this is Bajesh here, and you are watching CABN for Ventry. In my earlier video, I discussed with you various defenses which a person should not take before a court whose check has bounced because those defenses do not help him out in check bounce case and are weak defenses and no relief is granted by the court on the strength of those defenses. The link for this video is given here. Now, I will share with you various important points in check bounce case against you which you should use in the court through which you can defend yourself in the court effectively and successfully. Keep watching this video till end in order to get the full benefit out of this video. You should understand that the offense under negotiable instrument act is a compoundable offense. Now you may ask, what is this compoundable offense? My dear friends, in certain offenses, the parties involved can enter into a compromise while the case is pending before the court. This is called compounding. Therefore, for your easy understanding, the meaning of compoundable offense is that there can be settlement between two parties to the dispute in check bounce case. If you are sure that you have really issued a check against your legal liability and you have given the check to a person against the money which was payable by you to that person and that it was your legal liability, then you should try to settle the check bounce case by settlement with that person instead of fighting it in the court. The settlement can be done before the court case is filed by that party against you or it can be done even after you have received the legal notice from that party or settlement can be done after the case has been filed in the court by that party against you or even during the pendency of the case also you can do the settlement you can request to the magistrate for settlement of the matter in that case your case can be referred to the mediation center in the mediation center some installments may also be made for the payment of the bounce check with the concurrence of both the parties. Therefore, my first advice to you is that if you are an accused in a check bounce case, then the easiest way out is that you should try to do the settlement with the party to whom you have issued the bounce check so that you can save yourself from long run litigation in the court and save your precious time and hard-earned money in litigation. This was the first mantra for you to save yourself in check bounce case through settlement. The next most important technical point or legal mantra is about the applicability of limitation period in check bounce case against you. Yes, the limitation period plays an important role while defending a check bounce case. Now you will see how it is important. As per negotiable instrument act, the day on which check issued by you is bounced by the bank and the party to whom you issued the check got the intimation from his banker by way of written memo that check has got bounced then the other party to whom you have issued that bounce check is legally bound that within 30 days from the date of receiving that written memo from his banker, he should send you a legal notice stating therein that check issued by you has bounced. He should also mention amount of the check in the legal notice sent to you. In that legal notice, he will give you 15 days time to repay the amount of the bounce check. That other party 
to whom you issued the bounce check is legally bound to give you this 15 days time for repayment of the amount of the bounce check. Once that 15 days period is passed or over and still if you do not pay the amount of the bounce check to that party, then after passing of those 15 days time, the other party to whom you have issued the bounce check has got another 30 day time to file a suit against you in the court for recovery of the amount of the bounce check. Therefore, I have shared with you these three time limits which are very important in a check bounce case against you and should be strictly adhered to by the person to whom you have issued the bounce check. They are first 30 days period after getting the written memo from his banker about the dishonor of the check for sending the legal notice to you by that other party to whom you have issued the check which got dishonored. If he does not send the legal notice within 30 days after the receipt of written memo from his banker, then there will be a violation of the limitation period as per the limitation act by that person to whom you issued the bounce check and you can get the check bounce case dismissed against you on this ground alone in the court. Hence, please note, this time limit of 30 days is very important which should be looked into by you while defending your check bounce case. Or if that person to whom you have issued the bounce check has filed the case in the court before the time period of 15 days for repayment given to you by him in the legal notice has completed or lapsed or passed then it will be treated as a premature case and on this ground also the check bounce case can be dismissed by the court. Further, after completion or lapse of that 15 days time given to you for repayment, the other party has got another 30 days time to file the case in the court against you. If that person does not file case against you in the court within 30 days time after passing or completion or lapse of that 15 days notice period due to either his negligence or due to his ignorance or carelessness or due to any other reason whatsoever, then on this ground also his case can be dismissed by the court. Therefore, the second ground for dismissal of check bounce case against you by the court is on the basis of the limitation period. And if you find on the facts of your case that there is a violation of the limitation period by the person to whom you issued the bounce check, then you should brought this fact of limitation period to the notice of the magistrate that this case is barred by limitation and then the entire case against you can be dismissed by the court on the point of limitation alone. This is the second important legal point to be kept in mind while defending your case of check dishonor in the court which will help you to get your check dishonor case dismissed by the court. In my next video, I will be sharing with you the third legal and important point for dismissal of check bounce case against you by the court that is about the legal liability. Link for that video is given here. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.